Hi everyone, uh, back again. Um, today I got another pretty damn interesting source for you, or for me to test out. Uh, I've got <laughs> Professor Payne in the ass, butt blazing recipe number two, sphincter shrinker hot sauce. Uh, it looks like a, it's like this medicine bottle. I like those kinds. Uh, different colour, ingredients are pretty uh, pretty funky as well. We have apple sauce, white vinegar. Water, balsamic vinegar, raisins, chili extract, spices, salt, xanthan gum, which is a thickener. Another awesome sauce from the Hot Sauce Emporium. So yeah, here we go. I'm really looking forward to this one. It's been a it's been a while. It involves lots of university, so I've been pretty busy and not had time to uh, put me on. Oh, no plastic doobie, even better. Oh, brilliant. It smells of curry mixed with apple sauce. <laughs> Great colour to it too. Right, there we go. Consistency. It's smooth, but it's got little bits of chunks in it, so it's pretty good. Mm. Yeah, there we go. Well, that's a hot sauce. Taste-wise, instantly, it's like a curry, apple kind of taste. That's hot. Nice though. No burn-wise, back of the throat, instantly. It's going for the lips. Great taste though. It'd be a great additive to any curry. Struggling to speak. Oh. <laughs> oh shit, no. I'm just taking my breath away that one. Heat's really nice though. Kind of just sits there in the mouth and kind of fuzzes away and buzzes away as well. In the throat. Instant pain in the throat is gone now. I think it's slightly numbed. It does have the extract in there, so that heat that just the residing heat that just sits in the mouth in places it wants to attack you. But taste wise, fantastic. Very kind of curry kind of I'd say it's like apple sauce is great. It's a really few fruity kind of taste and texture. You can definitely taste that in there. It's pretty hot though. Yeah, wow, this is another great source from www.hotsauceemporium.co.uk. Great shop, you've got, to, you've got to visit them. They do all the hot sauces, molds, barbecues, shakes. But we have Professor Payne in DS, which is quite a, quite a funny title. Sphincter Shrinker. Well, coming up to four minutes in, um, well, three minutes in, heat in the mouth started to calm down. It's still there, though, the tongue's gone numb. Mouth's okay. Lips, yeah, they're kind of tingling. Making the nose run a bit. <laughs> Drool's coming on a bit, too. It's nice, it's a different heat. The heat it gives you is kind of a... It feels like it's gone cold, but it's not. <laughs> a complete heat opposite. The whole mouth is the same. It kind of it doesn't attack the top of the top of the mouth or the bottom of the tongue or the sides of the cheeks or the gums. It's an all-rounder. A nice hot burn. Cool. Nice. Swing to shrink it. Sweat-wise, hasn't brought in a sweat yet. 
but I can certainly feel that chilli extract in there and it didn't taste of it either maybe a little 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 bit but not big time it's nice it's great sauce right okay well we'll give it five minutes because it's a nice hot one and uh, yeah I'll get back to you and let you know how it's gone cool okay uh, we're in six minutes later um, yeah okay <laughs> that was a hot one uh, hasn't made me sweat hasn't made kind of me gag <laughs> but it's made my whole mouth warm up and stay at the same temperature it's quite nice mm, the heat now didn't make me sweat but I could be getting used to it by now but it certainly made me catch me I had to catch my breath at the beginning and I'm still slightly drunk, struggling to talk my lips slightly numb the tongues I got all the feeling back now but yeah it's one of those ones where it hits the throat instantly right at the back at the top and then beads its way to the front it's behind the lips you give it 10 minutes 15 minutes later it just sits on the top and your lips feel slightly numb other than that it's a great sauce great sauce <laughs> Professor Payne Indias, recipe number two, uh, sphincter shrinker hot sauce. Uh, uh, it's a great sauce with, it, with kind of apples in it, the ingredients are great. It just has that taste of curry, which would go, yeah, it'd be a great additive towards curries. So, yeah, okay, well, if you want that sauce or any other great sauces, you want to visit www.hotsauceemporium.co.uk. Uh, great website one of my number ones, well it is my number one website um, for all my hot sauces so you've got to check them out, they've got loads of great ranges from shakes, rubs yeah, brilliant selection and if you're ever in the vicinity of Bristol in UK you want to visit their shop in St Nicholas Market in Bristol uh, sure, just give it a google, I'm sure you'll find them um, in contact details they have all where the shop is on the website which is directly straight towards it, and straight to it yeah, one to visit and one to see. Well, yeah, well, yeah, that's it. Heat start pretty much starting to reside now. Um, but it's still tingling. But other than that, I'm just left with a kind of a nice overall mellow feeling. Brilliant, brilliant sauce that one. Another one of my favourites for the extract favourites anyway. I mean, all the non-extract favourites, <laughs> non-extracts are all my favourites. But uh, that one is, is great. Yeah, definitely worth it, worth it. So yeah, right. Nice one. Catch you later.